Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide for two node switch installation. Begin by switching off your main MCB. Open the switchboard. Check the connection wires. Yellow ones are load wires. Red wire is main and black is neutral. This is our smart and compact two node retrofit switch. You'll notice a black wire here, which serves as an antenna. However, in our newer devices, the antenna is built inside. So, if your device doesn't have this black wire, there's no need to worry. Let's start by checking the terminal points below. The N terminal is for neutral. The L terminal is for live. 1 and 2 are for input loads and M1 and M2 are for the output loads. Now, we will remove the wires from the two toggle switches. For future reference, let's name them as switch 1 and switch 2. First, connect the neutral wire, the black one, to the end terminal. Next, we'll connect the main wire, which is red, to the L terminal. To do this, we'll take another piece of wire. Connect one end of this piece of wire to the main, which is the copper wire running through the toggle switches, and the other end to the L terminal on the switch. Now, we will connect the input load wires to terminals 1 and 2. After connecting the input load, we need to connect the output load. We'll connect M1 and M2 to the toggle switches. Take another piece of wire and connect one end to M1 and the other end to switch 1. Similarly, connect M2 to switch 2. Next, switch on the main MCB. Once the power supply is on, you'll see the red LED light blinking, indicating that the device is in configuration mode. If you see a static LED light, Toggle the switch 6 to 7 times to bring the device into configuration mode. Once the LED starts blinking, we can configure it with the app. Now, let's proceed with the app integration. Download and open the Smart Life app. Login into the app. Tap on the plus icon on the top right corner of the screen. Then select Add Device. The app will search for nearby devices. Click Add to enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Then tap Next. Select the device and then click Done. Now, you can check how the device operates manually as well as through the app. Finally, place the wires and the device into the gang box carefully and close the gang box. And that's it. Take a look at the final setup and see how the device operates. We can also configure the device for voice command. Let's check how to configure it. Integration with Alexa Open the Alexa app. Bottom right tap more. Tap on skills and games. Search for Smart Life app. Select app. Click enable to use. Click agree and link. Wait for Smart Life to confirm linking. Tap close and let Alexa find your device. 
When a device to add is found, click Next. Select the common group you would like to add the device. Click Add to Group. Once the device is added to group, click Continue and Done. You can view all linked devices on Alexa showing their current state that is on or off. Let's try controlling them with voice commands. Alexa, switch off fan. Okay. Integration with Google. Open the Google Home app. Tap the Settings tab in the bottom right corner under Services. Select Work with Google. Look for Smart Life in the search bar. Tap on the Smart Life logo that appears, click Continue to proceed. Next, click on Agree and Link. Return to the home screen of the app. Tap on Devices. Refresh the page to update the device list along with their current status that is on or off. Let's try controlling them with voice command. Hey Google, turn off fan. Okay, done. Integration with Siri. Launch the Smart Life app on your device. Locate the bottom navigation bar and tap the scene icon. Within the scene section, click tap to run option. Then select create scene. Choose Launch Tap to Run. Tap the plus icon under the Then section. Choose Control Single Device. Select the device you want to operate. Pick the function you want to adjust using your voice command. In this case, we will choose Power On and Off. Select Power. Then select On. Save it. Assign a name to your scene that reflects its purpose. This name will be your default Siri trigger phrase. In this case, it will be Turn on Fan. Similarly, we will add a command to switch off the fan. The command trigger here will be turn off fan. On the tap to run screen, navigate to the bottom right corner and select add to city. Click plus and done. Same way add on command to city. Let's check the voice command. Hey Siri, turn on fan. Okay, done.